because you haven't lost. You know, because you haven't lost, you, really, you, know, you beat the best was supposed to be the best. And then, you, you know, you know, because I've never seen that. I didn't watch that shit. Random fight, I mean, I didn't watch, I don't really watch boxing cream. You know, um, if they put a guy in front of me, say he's the best, that's where I fight. You know, um, that's where I've always been. And, um, this is the way it is. So, I, so as far as, you know, overlook, I'm not going to say overlook, but I didn't do what I was supposed to do in the, in the gym. How I used to train and how things that I used to do, I didn't do it. You know, and it's a shame for the good friend to say that because I was, was middle champion of the world. You know, and you said, how could I get a friend to say that? Well, that's what happened. Hey, Jermaine, in the fight before, um, Edison Moran was really getting under your skin. Did you have a letdown, emotional letdown, when you weren't able to fight him after the tablet law? No, uh, no. Nah. I was glad that Kelly knocked him out. You know, I was like, you know, but, uh, I ain't heard nothing else from him. You know, um... So you took that up on the back. Talking about wanting to win. I said, I'm not gonna jump on the guy's friend. Yeah, you know what I mean? I hate when boxers do that. Take a tune-up fight. What is that fool? You know, here it is. You know, um, the guy you lost, you don't want to fight him. You know, that's what boxing all about. I think. You know, here it is. I'm coming off a knockout. You know, and here it is. We, we, we had a great fight. Almost won the fight. Then you get knocked out. I mean, that's, that makes me excited. You know what I'm saying? You almost, you know, just to know that you, know, you almost won. You know, and, you know, it's exciting. I'm straight fighting. I, I ain't running, moving, jabbing, whatever. I'm straight fighting. Straight fighting, whatever. Boom. Jermaine, do you think that, you know, and, and it's commendable that really you've had a string of opponents that have really been incredible. When, when you go back to all the guys that you fought, starting with Bernard and twice and Winky Wright, and then the two southpaws that had nothing to lose and they're tricky, and then Pavlik and now Pavlik again. Um, do you think taking, you know, six or seven difficult fights in a row, has that hindered your development at all? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, you know, I've, I've had some great opponents. I've had some weird opponents. You know, uh, now I'm facing a strong opponent. You know, who, who comes to fight? You know, but um, as far as Henry, man, I'm, I'm gonna say, you know, the way I feel right now is it, it, it may be better. Everything happened for a reason. I got my butt kicked for a reason because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing in that ring. Now look at me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm at the top of my game. I, I feel like I'm at the top of my game right now. Is there anything that you can take from the first fight besides when you hurt him uh, that you can take into the next fight? Is some weaknesses or things that you saw that you can capitalize? Yeah, you know, just the fact that I know I can get him. You know, I I know I can beat him. I know I can beat him. Do what you're supposed to do in the gym. That's where it all starts at, in the gym. If you ain't if, if you ain't trying like you're supposed to, I'm not saying that man I cheat on my turn, but I didn't do what I was supposed to do. You know, and and he kicked my butt. And there's no excuse for that. You know, but you know, let's see what happened this time. He do it again, I get right back up in the tank. He kicked my butt. You know, there ain't no way no I was in shape, I was not this. But you know, whatever. You know, he he, he did his job, he's middleweight chapter world. And, God bless you. I mean, was, was there a thing where you were kind of overanalyzing and overthinking too much? Is that kind of what happened? I don't know, man. I don't know. It was just, it, you know, um, I'm saying that because it seems like now you're just saying, I'm going to go out there and do my thing. Just over anxious. Over anxious, you know, okay. try to look good for this and do that. And, you know, then you got, you know, I come back to the point, I didn't know I was going to lose it. You know, and just hearing that you lose it. Fight, you know, it makes you do stupid stuff, you know. But I don't know, man. It's just it, there's a bunch of things I didn't win the fight. There's no excuse. Just, just, just come back and win next time. So, man, Jack Lowe's making the uh, point of talking about the psychological devastation of you getting knocked down and saying that there's major questions about that. Look at some other fighters who have suffered tough knockdowns and never recovered. He even raised the question about your neur neurological uh, health. But how how have you known that you 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 are going to be able to move beyond that and put well, together a hell of a fight? As far as the brain part of it, I took took all the tests. I took all the my, my coach them. <laughs> you know, they, they they were nervous too. Uh, we took all the tests and you know, I, I passed all of them. Um, as far as the as getting knocked out part, come right back. I chose this fight. You know, um, the man just but you know. I'll be I'll, I'll be nervous. What you made know, you it? Because I mean, what was what, what were you thinking when you said, "Okay, I'm." Gonna that's what I believe in, Bart. It, it, it wasn't no, it, it wasn't even no okay. You know, I, it's, 
as soon as we got out, as soon as we got home, you know, I called him up. I was like, man, I'm not taking no two no fight. That, that's 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 the power. Way. How can you live knowing you be the guy who, you know, that don't mean nothing to the guy that beat you? And that's what boxing all about, man. Ain't, ain't no sense of running around here. I don't, I don't plan on doing this forever. You know. <laughs> I mean, when, when a lot of people point to the revival of boxing, they point to, you know, your fight against Kelly last year was a big, you know, thing that just That's brilliant, boxing man. back. That's good. Like that? That's you good. Know? It, it, it would take me getting my butt kicked to bring it back, all right. <laughs> you know. Oh, Zell, I had a question for you. How do you see uh, Jermaine's psychological approach in training right now? Do you see him, because of this first loss, maybe being hungrier than ever? Jermaine is so focused, so hungry for this fight. It's unbelievable. Yes, after the fight, I, w I was a little leery, you know, now how is he going to come back? But I watched him in the gym. No problem. Thank you. Jermaine, did you notice something in the first fight? Like he was saying? Like, like that he wasn't doing everything that he used to do? Did you notice that? Thing? Yes, yes. You know, like I said, when you ride on top, you take a lot of things for granted. So now he got the home. That, man. Like, like, you know, you've been there, you you know, running two, three times a week. You know, just little stuff like that, man. You know, not getting up when you're supposed to get up. You know, just you know, little stuff. You know, when things where I, where I, I never would have done that. I do as a, as a, coming up as a, when I, when that long fuck off, I get up and run. Not, man, I wait back, take over, hit it again, snooze again. <laughs> so you know it's not going to crack the hell, you know. But it's not, it's, it's not right, man. Jermaine, what's back. the most important lesson you learned in the first fight? The lessons about Kelly or the lessons about Jermaine? Just about myself. Hard work pays off. Hard work and condition. Condition is everything. Because his condition kicked in. When I had him down, his condition kicked in. And that's what made him get up and do what he had to do. You know? It's all about condition. And mine kicked out for me when he, when he took me out. Did Emmanuel let you get away with not training as hard as you were supposed to? No, I mean, so he's a, you know, great trainer in the world. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say he didn't do this, he didn't do that. He, he did everything he was supposed to do. It, I'm, I'm putting it on me because I know what it takes to get to the top. And I kind of let it slide. Was it simply a matter of chemistry between you guys that it didn't quite work? Between me and man, oh no, man, everything was great, man. I'm talking about we, we still talk today. You know, as, as far as, but it, in the way I feel like I lost, you know, let's go back to what got us here in the first place. And what got me here is this man sitting next to me, you know, this is why I'm here today. And I, I remember how he used to work and how he used to put into my head, to my head. If you work hard, ain't nothing going to come to you. And he finally caught up with me. What well, about when they say stuff like, you know, I don't think you got